Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Vice President of the United States of America, Kamala Harris. During the telephone call, Vice President Harris expressed the United States' gratitude and appreciation to Bahrain for the humanitarian support provided by actively contributing to the Afghanistan evacuation efforts. His Royal Highness and the Vice President Harris have highlighted the historic depth of Bahrain-U.S. strategic relations and discussed ways to further strengthen ties. The latest regional and international issues of common interest were reviewed as well as developments on the situation in Afghanistan. His Royal Highness and Vice President Harris emphasized the importance of strengthening efforts to support regional security and stability. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed the Bahrain delegation to the annual meeting of the Islamic Development Bank's board, which was held in Uzbekistan and was patronized by its president. The minister affirmed the pride of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in the efforts of the group to further enhance cooperation between or among its members. He welcomed the elected president of the bank, Dr. Mohammed Al Jasser, and thanked the former president, Bender Hajjar, for his efforts. The meeting discussed uh, the recovery efforts from uh, the pandemic by focusing on health infrastructure and vaccines, along with other aspects of comprehensive economic development. The ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Arab Republic of Egypt and a permanent representative to the League of Arab States, Hisham bin Mohammed al Joder, headed the Kingdom's delegation in the Economic and Social Council meeting at the ministerial level in its regular session, which was held at the headquarters of the General Secretariat of the League of Arab States in Cairo. The Council approved the topic of the session on the Greater Arab Free Trade Area and the Assistance Program for Trade in Arab Countries and decided to support the UAE's request to host the conference of the state's parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The Council also reviewed the progress in completing the Unified Arab Economic Reports, the Joint Arab Discourse of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank and Developments in Arab International Cooperation, welcoming the issuance of the report enhancing sustainable finance and climate finance in the Arab region and the establishment of the Regional Center for Sustainable Finance in the Arab Republic of Egypt. Following a review of the latest developments and approval by the Government Executive Committee, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 announced an update to the booster shot protocol and guidelines for vaccinated individuals who have recovered from COVID-19. Eligible individuals may now receive a booster shot 12 months after the date of their infection. The task force highlighted that all decisions taken regarding vaccinations and booster shots are in line with the latest COVID-19 developments and international best practices review reviewed by the Ministry of Health Vaccination Committee. The task force commended the responsibility exhibited by those eligible for the vaccination and booster shots, noting that it is crucial to safeguard public health. The task force concluded by recommending that all eligible individuals receive the vaccination along with a booster shot in order to continue supporting the national efforts to combat COVID-19. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,149,200 had taken the first dose of the vaccine and 1,090,455 had taken the second and 257,803 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 946 with 79 recoveries and 74 registered new cases and no deaths. 29 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 25 are contacts of active cases and 20 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.